Today on The Hookup, we're gonna look at how to automate a pre-lit Christmas tree using the low voltage functionality of the Shelly One. It's November, and in November, my family and I do quite a bit of traveling. We spend basically all of our weekends away. That means a few things. Number one, I'll be producing slightly less content in November than I normally do. And number two, it means my wife gets a free pass to start decorating for Christmas as soon as the Halloween decorations are put away. As I record this video, it's currently November 5th, and our Christmas tree has been up for two days. Overall, I really like our tree. It's pre-lit, and you can click the little foot switch to toggle it between four modes, off, white, multicolored, or alternating. But the tree has one serious flaw. The default state when the power is lost is off, not the last selected LED color mode. This means that if you try to automate it using a smart plug, you'll be able to turn it off, but to turn it back on, you need to first toggle the outlet on, and then you need to walk over and step on the foot switch the specified number of times to get it back to your desired mode. This is not exactly automation. After some quick probing around with a multimeter, I was able to figure out that the white lights are lit by having plus 30 volts on the striped wire and ground on the plain wire, and then the colored lights are lit by having 30 volts on the plain wire and then the ground on the striped wire. The push button contains the brain and controls the mode with a little IC chip. The power wire before the push button is a constant 30 volts DC provided by this AC wall adapter. My original plan was to hook up an ESP01 with a buck converter to step down the 30 volts to 3.3 volts and then use one of these 3.3 volt relay modules. But I didn't want to reinvent the wheel since there are tons of these Wi-Fi relay modules out there. Then I briefly thought about using the Sonoff SV, but I quickly realized that it can only handle 24 volts input, not 30. Then I remembered that the Shelly One can be powered not only by 110 to 240 volts AC, but also by 24 to 60 volts DC. Perfect. That means all I needed to do was steal a little bit of power from the wires on the adapter side to power the Shelly, and then interrupt one of the wires on the tree side with the relay. Since the input and output of the relay on the Shelly One are isolated from the voltage used to power the Shelly, it won't mess up the lights at all. It'll just prevent them from turning on whenever the relay's off. Since the power interruption happens after the foot switch where the brain is, the brain never even knows that the lights aren't on, and therefore, it will continue to output the correct pattern. If you'd like to change the pattern, you still need to go press the foot switch, and if the power happens to go out, you'll still need to get up and press the foot switch to turn it back to your desired mode. But 99% of the time, this is a perfect solution for automating the lights without actually cutting the power to the brain. I'll probably put the Shelly in a little project box just to hide some of these messy wires, but it's pretty low voltage at this point, so I'm not particularly worried about an electrocution risk. I'm not sure if this particular issue with the lights defaulting to the off state has been fixed in the current models of pre-lit trees, but it seems like a pretty major oversight to me. And it affects anyone that's using a timer, not just those of us who are trying to automate. Because this is a pretty temporary thing, and because the Shelly firmware now supports MQTT, I didn't even bother putting Tasmoda on this little Shelly. I set it up as a Switch and Home Assistant using the settings that I posted in my last video on the Shelly, and it works like a charm. If you've been trying to use the Alexa local node in Node Red, Amazon has recently changed the way that discovery works, and new nodes are no longer being discovered. I'm currently looking for a solution or a workaround, but I was not immediately able to get the Christmas tree added to Alexa due to that problem with the Alexa local node. Hopefully I'll find a solution soon and I'll let you know about it when I do. That's it for today. As I said, November is gonna have some shorter videos, but I've got some big projects coming up for December and I've got some major updates to push out for my holiday LED Arduino program that include customizations for color and speed for every single effect. Thank you to all my patrons over at Patreon for your continued support of my channel. If you'd like to buy a Shelly 1, the link is down in the description below. Hopefully the Shelly 2 will be back in stock on Amazon soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.